could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider with his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. Just give your cat one of these three times a day. Fluffy never had a sick day before in all of her life, Dr. Collins, but your pills did so much for me. I just know these will do the same for her. Oh, she'd be so grateful to you, Doctor, if a cat could only talk. Yes, it's too bad that she can't. Uh, in the meantime, Miss Peacham, you be as good to yourself as you are to Fluffy. Yes, yes. A body can't be too careful these days about picking up germs. Good day, Doctor. Good day, Miss Peacham. There's been an accident, Doctor. Yes? You gotta come right away. My partner's hurt bad. How'd it happen? Cleaning his gun and the charge went off. Have you got a horse out in front? Yeah. Uh, right around the back, you can help me hook up. Right, hurry it up, Doc. Oh, where's the dog? They're around back, hitching up a buggy. Huh? Look. The range rider. Yeah, when he shows up, it spells trouble. We've got enough of that without him. Keep an eye on him. I'll go and hurry up the dock. Stalling every chance you get, huh? Come on. Oh, what'd I ever do to you? Give me another chance, will you? Now, come on. Be a big boy. Anybody think this was your last roundup? It's all gone. It doesn't hurt anymore. Honest. Look, you wouldn't back up for a six gun or a rattlesnake. You haven't brains enough to be afraid of a petticoat. Now, don't tell me when a little old thing like a dentist bother you. Oh! Hey, isn't that Pop Begley? Looks like he's hurt. Oh, oh! Hurt bad, Mr. Begley? Hey, smart. Take her on with this team. Oh, Mr. Begley, poor dear Mr. Begley, what's happened? What's happened? I'm gonna take him to Dr. Collins. But Dr. Collins left town a few minutes ago. Now, don't you fret, don't you fret, Mr. Bagley, not while Abby Peachum is on the job. Careful now, careful. Now, while you do round up, Doctor, Abby Peachum will do the woman's work around here. Get out of my way. It's about time Mr. Bagley learned how useful the opposite sex can be in time of trouble. That female has been my trouble for years. Let that be a lesson to you. Now, can you tell us what happened? There were three of them. All of them wore masks. Jumped me up near Cherokee Canyon. They must have known I was going to buy a herd from the Bar X. They got my money belt. Oh, body isn't safe these days, Range Rider. I'm sure you'll be safe, ma'am. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I got one of them before he winged me. First two gun man I've seen around these parts. Two gun man? Miss Abby, this man that rode out of town with a doctor. I never saw him before in all my life. Dick and I'll ride out to the canyon and see if we can pick up a trail of this two-gun character that you wing. He might lead us to the doctor. I think we're leaving you in good hands. Some men never know when they're in good hands. But you can depend on it, Range Rider. Abby Peachum will look after him. She's been after me too long. Can't you take her with you? Well, I think she prefers you. Oh. All right, all right. Now, there. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. What'd you say? One every three hours now. No, no. Open your mouth.
Who is it? It's Haley. I've got the doc. Come in. What took you so long to get here? I'm mighty glad to see you, Doc. Well, it's too bad we didn't meet under more favorable circumstances. Yeah, let's take a look at you. Mm. That's a nasty wound. Yeah, we'll just take this money belt off. That won't be in the way, Doc. Just as you say. Well, what brand are you peddling now, Doc? You won't know anything about it until after you wake up. Yeah, well, I ain't sleepy. Well, you certainly don't expect to have that bullet removed without an anesthetic. I never touch the stuff. Haley knows my brand. There's a pint of it in the kitchen. You gotta do what the doc says, partner. The doc does what I say. That goes for you, too, partner. Get on with it. Just as you say. Here. Get a hold of this. You'd better hang on to it pretty tight. Shot Pop Bagley around here someplace. Let's spread out and see if we can find some tracks. into a trap. Well, let's fool him. Let's go that way. I'll soon be riding again, Doc. Give it to me straight. Even with your rugged constitution, you can't hurry nature. That wound won't heal for weeks. You're very fortunate this bullet didn't lodge an inch higher. Jess. If you want to wash up now, Doc, my partner will show you where. Oh, I can find my way. Hey, lady, keep it down. Doc's still here. Well? He didn't shoot straight enough, Corbin. Bigley made it back to town. Now you got the range rider and his sidekick after us. So? So we gotta pull out of here, pronto. We're holding up here until the doc says I'm well enough to travel. I don't need him to tell me when I'm ready to travel. He's right, Corbin. They know three of us are in on it, we gotta split up. So we can start by splitting up that dough. Well, I'm gonna miss your company, boys. Come on in, doc. I'll drop in and see you tomorrow. In the meantime, sleep will do you more good than anything else. Well, I'm sorry, but you ain't leaving, Doc. Leastwise, till I'm well enough to go with you. Of course, you're joking. You're out of danger now. Besides, I have other patients expecting me. Your friends can look after you. Yeah, they'd like that, wouldn't you, boys? Good afternoon. Haley. What's that going to get us but more trouble? 
We couldn't let the doc get back into town and find out about Begley. But he doesn't show up. You want the range rider in the whole town now looking for him? They won't find him. Lock him up in the barn. I, uh, I better get his horse out of sight. But he won't need that bag to keep him company. I only thought that he... Maybe I know what you thought. That bottle will burn a hole in your pocket, Haley. Come on, hand it over. Or the doc might have another case on his hands that might prove fatal. Sounds like trouble. Let's go. I heard the shot. Corbin have an accident? There won't be any accident next time. And that's the only way we'll get out of here with our dough. Yeah. Range Rider. Uh, I'm not scaring out of here until I get my share of that dough. Yeah. Keep out of sight. Keep me covered. Any trouble? We heard a shot. Figured it might have come from over here. Wouldn't be surprised. Lots of game for hunters in these parts. You looking for game? You might call it that. Mind if we water the horses? Help yourself. Now that you mention it, there was three fellas heading across the valley. What do you want them for? Murder, maybe. That is, if Doc Collins doesn't get back to town in time to save Pop Begley. See, those three men held up Pop, shot him, and robbed him over at Cherokee Canyon. I sure do hope you find him, Range Rider. If I can give you any help. Oh, I think you have. As a matter of fact, I was just about to smell them out. Hey, Dick. You smell something funny. Huh? I don't smell anything. Maybe that's because you smell, mister. What kind of perfume you use, anyhow? That's not perfume. It, it smells like... Yeah, like, like a certain Dr. Jawbones. Or just any doctor. You got a real nose for trouble, Range Rider. And you're in it mighty deep. Ask him what the blood's doing on the saddleback, or ask him that. Uh, 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 uh. Now let's go over to the house, real peaceful-like. Yeah. Just be quiet when you open the door. Don't shoot, Cor. This little slug probably put a neat hole through your partner. Where is he? What partner? I don't know what you're talking about. Bag. Now quit stalling. If I make a deal with you, Range Rider. You've already made your crooked deal. He can pop me. Outside, look. Dick, you take over. If you find Doc Collins, get him to Begley as quickly as you can. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Bagley's still alive. You're his only hope. But you, you haven't got a gun. Well, don't worry about me or the range rider. Just get in there in your buggy and get into town as fast as you can. Wasn't very smart of you, Corbin. According to this trail of blood you're leaving, we can use that spot to bury you. I give up, Range Rider. I give up. Throw out your gun. Now you come on out. I can't, Range Rider. I'm hurt real bad. You've got to come up and help me. You got a real reputation for being a two gun man. Any more guns in your arsenal? Look, Corbin. If I don't take you out of there, the coyotes won't leave enough to worry about. Okay, Range Rider, you win. You know what to do. Come on out. Okay, Range Rider, I'm hurt real bad. Uh, 
I need the doc. So does Pop Begley. Okay, but get me to him first. Don't leave me. Just gonna get your horse. There's two of us down here, you can't look the odds. You can have Corbin if you throw out the money belt. Okay. Give it to him. Come and get it. Don't let him get me, Range Rider. Give me half a chance. Give me back my gun. If they get to you, they'll kill you. I'm the only man that can get you to a dock. me to put you out of commission permanently. Hey, I'm on your side, remember? I thought you was... Oh, never mind. Tough time of it. But with the proper nursing, he'll be all right. Of course he will. And you may depend on a doctor. He'll have the best care Abby Beecham can give him. <laughs> Mr. Begley, you're in such good hands that I'm afraid there's nothing more that Dickie and I can do for you. Oh, yes, there is. Take her with you. I'm afraid that's that's in Dickie's department. You see, he's the ladies' man. Which reminds me, I've got a surprise for you. Yeah? Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Begley. Hi, hey, Doc. Wait a minute. Range Rider. Here, now, you hey, listen, listen there. Oh, Abby. There, now, I'll take him from here on. Now, now, quiet. Now, Abby, listen. Quiet. I know. Well, what are we going here for? Well, there's your surprise. Well, I got a surprise for you. It doesn't hurt anymore, honest. It's all gone. Since when? Since I forgot to duck. See? Where did you get that? Right here. See? Right there. Oh. Holy mackerel. Yes, Uncle. Yeah, you need a checkup. Huh? Uh-huh. Come on. Oh, no, I never can win. <laughs>